Hello everybody, my name is Kyle and welcome to another Team Fortress 2 video. This video is just going to be a discussion about the Cow Mangler. Is it secretly overpowered? Is it well worth the wait? I don't know. But let's see and find out, I, I guess. Um, so the Cow Mangler stats are, it requires no ammo and has a charged shot. The charged shot can disable building can disable buildings for four seconds many crits and burns players the downsides are that it has no random critical hits and cannot be crit boosted so you can try as hard as you want but it's close to actual impossible to get a crit with this goon um and the other downside is 20% damage to building, which is pretty big, the soldier being an explosive weapon guy thing. It does a lot of damage to buildings, but taking that away, that's a large chunk of the usefulness of the soldier is. Because he can destroy buildings easily, as well as Dumbo Man, but what is there no Dumbo Man? You, 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 you don't know. You never know. But anyway, is it really that big of a deal? This is it. The, uh, I, I like to go over the random crit first. Like, honestly, honestly, it's not really that big of a deal, because, like, who, like, who just base their gameplay off of crits? I know it's luck-based, I know some, of you, some people just, uh, like, some situations they just hope for a crit to hit but you shouldn't be just like thinking that into your gameplay thinking that it will work because it's probably not because you probably might die a lot and stuff like that and 20% damage to buildings and I'm saying just minus 20% damage to buildings I'm trying I'm saying 20% as in 20% is all it's gonna do and by that I mean say if a rocket does 100 damage to a building then this would only do 20 damage to the building so yeah it's, that's a pretty big deal but what if you do something like carry a shotgun with you like right like right next to you so you can charge out a sentry and pull the shotgun to shoot the sentry dead the shotgun, of course, is, is pretty fast firing and does pretty good damage at a close range, so it's probably a good idea. And that and the charge shot, uh, of course. Of course. Of course. Wait, did I. No, I, I think I already said that it disables buildings for four seconds so you get to disable the sentry, but I. Never mind. Um. It can also be helpful when you're like, there's like nobody around and you decide like you're like a conqueror or something like that, like a stupid idiot would. But uh, with that, then you're all alone and you're vulnerable to sentries. Oh no, you're in a corner. The sentries got you pinned down. They're looking right at you. What are you going to do? Just, just, just walk slightly over the corner. Charge shot, shoot the sentry. Run away. Until you find a teammate, that is. And, of course, who can forget the cow, Mangler? Um. I, I actually don't know what I was doing that. But, you know. Of course, some of the downsides that is not, like, what you call it, like, like written in. Something like, with charge shots, you move significantly slower than what you're used to. Because you're like, pew. It's basically like you're holding a classic and you're charging your shot. It's just pretty bad. So that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> but yeah, so I was wondering the question if if it's really overpowered. Because it's basically a straight upgrade to the regular rocket launcher according to things like, uh, what you call it, like, PvP player versus player. It's pretty much a straight upgrade to the regular rocket launcher. Unless, of course, you're playing with crits, then, I mean, like I said, you can't just think that you're just going to get a crit randomly. Well, actually, yes. Crit out of, like, 
what you call it? Like you get a crit. Like that's what you're hoping for. It's just crit. It just won't work that way. It's just not good enough. And of course, uh, twenty percent damage to buildings. Um, like if you like think about like it in a competitive standpoint. When is there like an an engineer in sixty six? Yeah, you know, I scrap that. Cause that they, 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 yeah, some some people are actually there, so I'm just an idiot. But anyway, yeah, so that's about it. That pretty much wraps up all I need to say. Or what? And the the end conclusion that I have to say is, I personally think the Kalmingla has the potential to be like a straight upgrade to the stock rocket launcher. Um. But unless people, like, love crits, then I guess this won't be the rocket launcher for you. The building is not really that big of a deal for me because you can just charge it and disable it for four seconds, which leaves your team to destroy it. Or just use, like, a shotgun or something. Whatever you want to do, it's not me, it's you. Anyway, my name is Cal, and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to upload something quickly, and this was something I can't caught my eye um for, uh, for the end of the, this video this is which is right now um i should say i have like a steam group if you want to join there it's still no one entered that giveaway that, that i posted but you know i mean no one can probably hear this anyway anyway thank you guys so much for watching and yeah put right in the comments on what you think if the cow mangler is secretly prepared, because, you know, it has potential, like I said, but is it really? Anyway, guys, like I said for the fifth time, goodbye, have a good evening, or whatever the frick it is, morning. Okay.